Well, believe it or not, my friends, it's happened again. That's right, Culturians. We have another dismal Disney lawsuit because it's a day that ends in Y. And while that's a little bit of hyperbole, it seems like this is a weekly event. And these are not small lawsuits. In fact, if you're interested in how many we've had over the last few weeks, you can check out the playlist right up there because I actually had to make a playlist for the number of lawsuits, serious lawsuits that Disney's involved in. So let's get right into it. I can't believe we're doing this again. But before we jump into it, of course, you've seen the thumbnail and you've seen the story and Maybe what you haven't seen is my website. That's right, beachpunk.us, which is, well, where you can get all of the gear that supports me and my efforts here. You can get yourself a rooster hat. You can get yourself a mug. You can get yourself a water bottle. We've got new products coming out soon. It, it, you've got shoes and sandals and slides and all kinds of things there. Towels, swimsuits. Amazing stuff. But let's get right into the story here. The new discrimination lawsuit. <sighs> Iger, you and your friends at Disney must hate women. That's right, because at Disney, you get sued a lot. Disney, John Ridley, and ABC hit with discrimination and retaliation suit by female executive, or maybe former female executive. We're going to jump right into this story itself. Thank you, Deadline. A former ABC director of development is taking the network parent company and John Ridley to court for gender, racial, and economic discrimination, claiming they, they, they fired her when she complained about the alleged situation. So by bringing it to her, their attention, all these things, they fired her, which is super duper illegal. Anyway, so in a nine claim complaint filed Wednesday in Los Angeles Superior Court, Asta Jonathan says she was pink slipped in 2022 after more than a decade at ABC after putting in writing her frequently mentioned grievances about overlooked being overlooked for promotions and being underpaid wow it says here and we will read this uh, verbatim seeking a jury trial jonathan wants a variety of unspecified damages from the trio of disney ridley and abc go for all the pockets proper lawsuit strategy full disclosure Oscar winner Ridley is the co-host of Deadline's Doc Talk podcast. Oh boy, Deadline, thank you for the disclosure, but uh, yeah, you might want to look for a new host. Anyway, from today's lawsuit. So whoo, throughout Ms. Ms. Jonathan's assignment under Ridley and IFPRPC, her salary went unchanged and did not match pay scales for the position she was performing. In fact, Ridley failed to offer Jonathan a salary commensurate with the role for which she was qualified and already performing. Thereafter, Jonathan continued to perform her job functions, including those of development, for her lower salary. Wow. On multiple occasions, Jonathan complained to Ridley about the hypocrisy of his public positions on civil rights and his private failure to pay Jonathan, a woman of color, commensurate with her skill, effort, and responsibility. Ridley's hypocrisy continues to this day with the premiere of his film, Shirley, a bio biographical film based on the life of Shirley Chisholm, the first black woman to be elected to the United States Congress and a vocal proponent of equal pay and women's rights. Well, I'm not going to look up the factualness of that statement, but we'll take it in hand since it's in this legal case. Jonathan also complained to ABC about this unlawful discrimination. Ooh, another voice. But ABC failed to take any remedial action 
in 2021, ABC uh, and Ridley, IFPRPC, hired uh, Shannon Rhodes, a white woman, to perform the task that Jonathan was already performing, but for substantially more money. Jonathan reiterated her complaints of discrimination. In response, her employment was summarily and wrongfully terminated by ABC and Ridley IFPRPC. My goodness. Wow. After over a decade of being taken advantage of by men in positions of power in Hollywood and the major media organizations that enabled, uh, is enable and protect them, Jonathan now seeks to stand up for herself and countless others in Hollywood who, without bargaining power and in the face of systemic discrimination, are taken advantage of and left working long hours for low wages and little to no credit. Wow. Yeah, that's a powerful introductory statement. And I imagine the claims are fascinating. So after three years at the network studio, Johnson was assigned to Ridley's International Famous Players Radio Picture Corporation in 2014 as a director of development. Over more than six years, she worked directly for Ridley and expressing dissatisfaction with her position in compensation, as well as the filmmaker's attitudes, Jonathan and her Greenberg Gross attorneys, oh boy, look those folks up, um, declare to her knowledge, ABC never attempted to investigate or remedy these complaints. That's super bad. Listing of a litany of misconduct including a professional association of Ridley supposedly calling Jonathan a B-word and the 12 Years a Slave screenplay scribe doing nothing about it. Oh, going for the low blows everywhere. The plaintiff and her lawyers express a theory in the filing about what was really going on at IFPRPC for the woman of color. Oh, boy. You may recognize Jonathan's name. In December last year, she sued Vin Diesel for uh, bad adult behavior of a battery kind. Alleging that assault occurred in an Atlanta hotel in 2010 during the filming of Fast Five. Wow. Having just been hired nine days beforehand as Diesel's assistant, Jonathan said Samantha Vincent, the actor's sister and head of his One Race production company, fired her hours after the alleged, I'm going to say, incident. Of course, Vin Diesel categorically denies this claim in its entirety. Today, or that would be yesterday, because that's when the story broke late in the afternoon, Disney ABC declined comment on the legal action by Jonathan against them and Ridley rep representatives for Ridley did not respond to deadlines request for comment on the matter. If, and when they do, we will update so far, no update. Cause I just picked up the story earlier today, refreshed it. Don't have an update. <sighs> so the entertainment industry has historically underpaid women and minorities as compared to white men who perform the same work, said Claire uh, Lee's Cutley. The law requires equal pay for equal work and protects employees who stand up for their rights, the Greenberg Gross attorney added. By filing this lawsuit, Ms. Jonathan adds her voice to this historic movement to combat injustice. Ah, uh, and this is important because this is, this feeds into the other lawsuit I was talking about. It should be noted that Disney is facing a class action suit from potentially thousands of past and present female employees for paying them less than men. First filed in 2019 by Walt Disney Studios staffers La Ronda Rasmussen and Karen Moore, the action claims that the media giant, giant violated the Fair Employment and Housing Act and California's Equal Pay Act, with Disney failing repeatedly to get the suit tossed out. The action is seeking at least $150 million in lost wages and could grow in damages up and beyond $300 million. 
Doesn't sound like you like women much there, Disney. Or maybe it's just the people you hire. Or a combination of both. Oh, boy. I don't know. Not sure what's going to happen with this one. They're going to try to get it dismissed, I'm, dismissed, I'm sure. But uh, absent that being successful, I would imagine that they will settle. Because you don't want this to get out in the public. Because it might change damage claims on the... Uh, $150 million suit that you're facing. Wow, this is extraordinary. And it seems to be a regular occurrence. And there's many, many more discrimination cases that are popping up left and right against the Disney company in any of their various forms. Uh, there's even, it was a claim on a film not that long ago that there was an issue with that. Not to mention the fact the conversation around Scarlett Johansson always rears its ugly head and what happened with the Black Widow film. And other things, because there was some discrimination tied to that, if I memory serves anyway. All I know is that this is happening far too frequently. And if I were running this company, I would uh, start to look for ways to remedy that. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how you do that, other than to uh, put people in place to do qualified hiring and pay uh, appropriately. Because that's what this ultimately comes down to. And if she never received a pay increase in the six years that she was working uh, under the Ridley branch, I would say that there was a problem, especially if they hired somebody in new to the position and then paid her more, regardless of any of the other factors. That just only stacks those things together. But hey, what do you think? Are you unsurprised by another lawsuit with Disney, especially one about discrimination. I would say you are out there, you out there, if you've watched the huge number of, uh, you know, lawsuit videos I've done just in the last few weeks, you probably aren't surprised anymore. Do you think Disney's going to get in trouble for this? Do you think this case has merit? And again, you can go to the deadline story and actually bring up the official case. There's a hyperlink to it. And read it verbatim and find out if you think the claim is substantial enough to uh, suffer under the weight of scrutiny. I'm just curious. Do you think Disney does anything to solve this problem in the future? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And if this is your first time here or your thousandth and you still see a red subscribe button down there, please click it. We're on our way to 15K. I think, no, 25K. That's right, 15K already happened. In fact, if you're watching this in real time on uh, Thursday, just know that on Saturday morning, we'll be doing a pigtail stream. Yes, I will be embarrassing myself. Okay. <laughs> anyway, do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe if you're not, and hit the like button on your way out the door. As always, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya.